The American people are wondering, what is the Biden administration thinking? Last week, the Wall Street Journal reported that the Department of Justice is negotiating a settlement that would give $450,000 per person to illegal immigrants. For a parent and child, the payout increases to $900,000. To put this in context, if a service member is killed in action, their next of kin receives an insurance payment of $400,000. What this means is that the Biden administration will pay illegal immigrants more than the families of America's fallen heroes. That fact alone is repulsive. These people broke the law by illegally entering our country, and now they're about to receive a payout from the government. That is the kind of welfare mentality that's corrupting this country and will do nothing but encourage more illegals to try to enter our country. Shame on President Biden and his administration. Madam Speaker, behind every man and woman in uniform are family members who exhibit great resilience while their loved ones serve this great country. No matter their backgrounds or where life's journey has taken them, these families are all connected by service and their collective love for America. Madam Speaker, November is Military Family Appreciation Month, a solemn time when we recognize the innumerable military families from all corners of America. We recognize their support for their loved ones in uniform and the sacrifices that they continue to make every day. I want to salute particularly those from the 5th District of North Carolina and thank them for their service. The simple truth is that every American owes them and their loved ones, both at home and abroad, a profound debt of gratitude. May we never forget that. Madam Speaker, if I laid over 1,500 pages of text in front of you right now, would you be able to tell me quickly what's on every single page? If the answer is no, that's not surprising. Yet that's exactly what happened last week when the majority decided to drop the text of the massive socialist tax and spending package at a moment's notice. Does this sound familiar? It's what happened when House Democrats passed Obamacare and nobody had time to read its text either, although Republicans made an earnest effort to read every page. It's the same irresponsible tactic of passing a bill to find out what's lurking beneath its pages. Madam Speaker, this process is making a mockery of the People's House and it's downright shameful. It's time to stop it.